Yeah, one more thing is with the kicks, you kind of want your kicks hitting at different times than the 808, so it kind of gives it like a cool uh, R&B bounce. Found that it's less is more when it comes to these kind of R&B beats. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make Drake R&B drums. I'm just super bouncy. Um, crazy doing stuff with the hi-hats using different types of not using claps we're just gonna go crazy all right so I'm mainly gonna be focusing on the drums today in this video so uh, I went on looper man and found this uh, this loop yeah you guys can hear it Yeah, you guys are gonna try to patronize me for not making my own melodies, but this is a drum tutorial. Not and sorry if I look sweaty, it's like 5,000 million degrees in my room right now. It's like I'm looking at the sun just baking um, in an oven at the same time while I'm being thrown into a volcano. So that's, that's why if I look a little sweaty, that's why. All right, so I put it to 90 BPM. We might double it uh, later in the video. Let's go ahead and start with these drums. I am working on a one-shot kit coming soon, but we're not talking about that. So before we start out, I just wanna talk about a couple of things that are really prominent in these drums for these type of beats, is instead of just using clap sounds, um, I'll use perks, snares, and just get experimental with what I can use for the clap sound. Another thing I'll do is I'll do really creative hi-hat patterns and kind of use more than one just hi-hat sound and use effects on it like reverb, delay. And another thing is you don't have to use an 808, you can use a bass sound for this. Yeah, one more thing is with the kicks, you kind of want your kicks hitting at different times than the 808, so it kind of gives it like a cool uh, R&B bounce. So one thing I was talking about was the hi-hats and just using a couple different hi-hat sounds. So you, if you're using more than one thing of hi-hats, you're gonna wanna make the pattern uh, kind of spread out and then fill in the blanks later, so. I think I'm gonna go speed it up to 180. So it's kind of faster. Yeah, and if you're wondering why I put it to 180, 90 times 2 is 180, so it's the same BPM, but it's just faster. Quick mass. And you see, that's all you really need. You just need a simple bounce, and now I can go ahead and copy that over, and I get another hi-hat sound, and let's put something below it. I think I'll put some effects on that, so I'm gonna just leave that like it is and just <laughs> put another hi-hat. I'm gonna change that sound. Actually, I don't like this little roll here. I think I'm gonna move it to a different spot. Yeah, that's good, that's good. All right, so now I got these three hi-hats and I got them in a good pattern. I'll let you guys hear it. Yeah, so now we don't wanna leave it dry like that. So I rooted the channels. So we're gonna put an EQ on this we're gonna go to the this one and i'm gonna put delay on this So on this one, the delay is kind of heavy, so I'm gonna go to this tone knob and turn it to the to the left. Whoa. 
I've noticed that rappers are way more likely to get on it when there's a lot of space for them to, to rap and it's just not constant like crazy stuff going on. So now for the clap, I'm not gonna use one of these. I might use that one though, that cut on fire. But um, I think I'm gonna go over to the snares. This is the one, I see. You wanna use stuff like this for the clap. So let's see what that sounds like. I'm gonna go up and just use a clap midi cause I, I'm too lazy to click all those in. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So I like this kick sound, but I don't wanna do the kick first. I wanna go to an 808. We'll just do the classic plug. I think I'm gonna t pitch this loop down by uh, one cent. Yeah. turn up this boost knob on the way to 808 by going to this whatever this image if you guys know what that is whatever that little thing is let me know what that symbol means because i've always wondered what that is and it's kind of clipping so i'm gonna go to the master more plugins soft clipper boom so that's fire so now i'm gonna go to the kick And a thing I said at the beginning is spacing out the kicks and having it hit at times when the video isn't, so I'm going to put it right here. Also on the uh, on the snare, I'm gonna put it in here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put some reverb on it, and then I'm also gonna put a tiny bit of delay, but not too much. I'm gonna use the cut knob to turn it down. And once you have this basis of a bunch of sounds just going crazy and it bounces, now you know you can start adding things like open hats and little perks and stuff around. But don't do, do too much because like I said, less is more. I'm going to layer the snare too just to make it hit harder with another snare. Yeah. Now I'm going to go into these perks. Now I think I might put it back up to where it was before and just see how that sounds. Oh. oh my god. I love when the 808 hits on this on B because then you can put it down and it still sounds good. That's just so far. Like that is so hard. And I'm also gonna put an EQ on this. But yeah guys, it's been your boy Jelly Melodies. Um, drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment, turn the bell notification on. Just really engage with my channel. I really just wanna grow. Um, this is really what I wanna do in my life. I only got 1K subs. Um, we're gonna see where we can take this. And I want you guys to be a part of my journey on YouTube and just as a producer as a whole. Um, so yeah guys, we got big dreams. I know you guys do too. And I'm here to help you guys while you guys help me. Um, and we all gonna go up. So it's been your boy Jelly Melodies and I'm out. Thank you.